it's still Hebrew, the identity's there. When people hear the record, they're just going to be, you know, pleased with it. You know, the, the identity and the formula and everything's still intact. Huh? Um, so as a side, what else can we expect from this new album as far as like lyrical content? Has anything influenced you, like politics, the war, the economy? Or is it still everything, working? everything, you know. Um, the the record's mean. It's very, you know, it's, it, there's definitely that negative mean vibe in there, but uh, there's the positive stuff too. You have to have the balance, you know. We can't have one without the other, so. And, and there are some uplifting songs that I think people really identify with and be happy that those songs are you know on the record but then there's a lot of just pissed off songs too so but um you know since supremacy came out in 06 there hasn't been a shortage of things to scream my head off about so you know that i'm grateful for okay. now uh you also just filmed a video for a track off the new album uh, i don't know the name of the track yeah, In Ashes They Shall Reap was the name of the song. We just did that in Connecticut with a little hometown crowd and it came out really cool. It's actually going to air uh, within the month on Headbangers Ball. It's going to start airing. So it's going to be printing the release then? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, as far as album releases go today, what's your stance on album leaks and legal downloads? Well, you know what? If you go into Best Buy and you walk out with the CD without paying for it, you get arrested. But for some reason, it's just okay to do it, like in the privacy of your own home. It's definitely killing the younger bands. I hear it every night. I talk to you know bands wait outside the shows for me, local bands, you know, smaller bands that we toured with. You know, one of these bands I won't even say their name, but they have like 38 million plays on MySpace, and their CD sold like 30,000 copies. It's like, wow, where you know, where. Where are people getting the record? They're stealing it. So uh, it's too bad because I've seen some, you know, so many people lose their jobs, and so many record stores go out of business, and uh, just the industry is just, you know, all, all, everything is just shrinking because of it. But it's also our own fault because, you know, people like Lars or whatever stood up in the beginning, and nobody got his back, and now all those people that didn't get his back are out of jobs. So. You know, it's it is what it is. We just hope that you know kids respect our hard work that we put into it, and they do. I mean, even supremacy in the age of downloading, I think it's still sold like 150,000 copies. So, um, thank you, you know, to everybody who, who realizes how much work we did put in and what actually went out and bought it. Um, but our fans are so diehard that you know they do buy everything that we do, even our covers record has sold, you know, well considering, so. Which, uh, that also leaked pretty early too. Yeah, that leaked very early, and, um, you know, a lot of people that leak the albums, they're, they're angry, you know, people, they don't, you know, they, they, they want to have it for free, they want to purposely leak it, and I never understood that, I always felt like, why do you care so much about hurting the bands, you know, but, it is what it is, and if you, the more you combat it, the more they want to leak it, the more they want to, like, spite you, and, you know, we've been one of these bands from the beginning that everybody's always had a bone to pick with us because we've done the impossible, so when you've, when you've come so far from nothing, people want to tear you down, and it's just, you know, you have to have thick skin, and you got to take it with a grain of salt, and, and just, you know, keep doing what you love, and saying, fuck everybody that doesn't like it, because success is the best revenge, you know? And how do you feel about people that compare it to the 80s tape trading? Uh, I, I just think that's that's BS because tape trading, and when I used to like make mixes and stuff, it was done out of love. You know, it was done out of like wanting to expose bands. And I have no problem with young bands who actually are giving the record away for free. I'm talking about, um, you know, you spend a, a couple months recording an album, slaving over it, you know, over every little detail and then somebody at the plant takes it and leaks it, or somebody who's supposed to be reviewing the record takes it and leaks it. That's just malicious, you know, so, but it's the nature of the beast. 